Today I'd like to show you Key to the Highway by Eric Clapton. I'm tuned to E. E, B, E. Open E. Eric Clapton did it in the key of A. But he goes, drops down to the low E chord, so I figured open E is probably the best tuning. It was originally done by Big Bill Bruzy. He does it in the key of E. But the Eric Clapton version is the more popular version nowadays. And it's not hard to do at all. We start off with an A chord, four beats, and we just do the standard boogie rhythm. It is a shuffle though, so it isn't one, two, three, four, it's one, a two, a three, a four. So that's two fives, five, and two, five, seven. And that's the rhythm everywhere except in a couple spots. So it starts off with one measure of A. It's an eight bar blues, which is cool. I love eight bar blues. Then we go down to the E chord, do the same thing. Then we go up to the 10th fret and do the D chord, but we add in the seventh. This is the fifth. This is the D root. This is the fifth. This is the sixth. This is the seventh. Stay there for two measures, so that brings us up to four measures. I'll play that part for you. Like that. And then we go back to A. Back E. And then A once. Then we do the turnaround which is two on the middle string and your little finger five on the high string. Down, up, down, middle, high, middle. Third fret, fourth fret, five, five. And then up to speed. And two E chords. This is an E note, this is the third of the E chord. It is an E7, so you could do something like that, that's the seventh. And there's other choices. I didn't find that they sounded that good to me. You may have an entirely different opinion, so I just do it with these two notes. And that's really all there is to it. If you want to sound a little bit more like Clapton, he's playing it almost in a Stevie Ray Vaughan style, in that he's like, and then. And he does that swipe up where the strings are kind of muted in between chords. Like that, it's almost a sloppy thing. It isn't really, but it's always, uh, it's very, very full. So if you want to add a bit of that in there, it just means you make your upstrokes more pronounced and you keep them in time with the shuffle. Like that. And that's really the only difference. Everything else is the same. And uh, today I'm using a cube, but I'm using a different reverb that came in a pedal that I bought on Amazon called the Dapper Indie. Uh, I really like it. I like the reverb in it a little bit better. You might want to check that pedal out. It's like a hundred bucks and it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. And the tuner in it is much better than most inexpensive tuners. It's closer. It takes a little bit more trouble to get in tune, but it's worth it because you're very, very in tune when you use a tuner. Anyway, enough about that. I'd also like to mention this box here. This is just the standard. I use a lot of these fretless boxes. This one I made back in 2020 when I first started with the cigar box guitar. Um, and it has held up remarkably well because it's really 
like some kind of plywood or cardboard or something. I don't even know for sure. And it's just a standard, I did it uh, in the slider style, which is a slider neck. I didn't trim the neck or anything. I just uh, screwed it to the top. I prefer to screw things to the top than, than glue them wherever possible because there's more vibration. Got to tighten up the screws once in a while, but uh, it seems to make the instrument sing a little bit more. This is a Strat pickup, noiseless Strat pickup. That's why there's no noise. And uh, what I did was when I decided to uh, try something fretted, because I just played fretless for a very long time, um, I got this. This is just a fretted board. You can see that there. That's just a, a fretted board there that I laid on top. And the screws are where the uh, fret markers would be. And this was really inexpensive very inexpensive and I just uh, screwed it on where I already had the marks this is a 25 inch scale I believe and it worked great from the from the word go I just had to put a little nut on it hopefully you can kind of see there so if you've got a slider that you bought or that you made and you want to try doing some fretless stuff uh, this was really the easiest and least expensive way to go because your slider is already working you're already happy with it hopefully you already have a sound that you like with it you're comfortable with it and all I had to do was notch out some of the cardboard here and uh, I've been using this for quite some time now I guess it would be four years really happy with it I hope you have fun playing that eight bar Eric Clapton tune have a great day bye